Alright guys, welcome back to another vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in. So we got a few things to do today. One of which is uh, I'm gonna go to my parents' house and uh, just stop by and say hi. Later on, I got a couple people coming by the house just to kick back and, you know, have a couple beers and stuff like that. With the newly enforced COVID restrictions, we can't really go anywhere or dine in or anything like that. So we're just gonna go to my house and um, kick back. So the reason I wanted to make this video is I needed you guys' opinion on what to do in this situation. So I noticed that on my car, this is a 2018 WRX for those new to the channel fourth gear is starting to rattle I'm talking about the shifter and I noticed that it recently started happening with third gear as well the car is just about three years old and it doesn't even have 27,000 miles yet so I noticed that there was a TSB a technical service bulletin on a similar issue for fourth gear and so I wanted to get your guys' opinion to see if that's something that you try to get the dealer to repair under warranty obviously the car is modified so I'm not sure if that's gonna get me any luck but we'll just have to see I guess so like I said, I'm going to drive to my parents' house and um, just see if I can get the vibration on camera for you guys. So let's get out of here. And uh, I'll get on the freeway and see if I can get it to um, rattle. And it doesn't vibrate a lot. It's an annoyance at this point. And the shift knob I'm using is the parent shift knob with the anti-rattle adapter. So this has nothing to do with the actual shifter vibrating itself. And that anti-rattle just prevents this part from rattling. So it's completely unrelated to the issue. So I notice it mostly vibrates when you're on the gas and then when you release the gas. It's just a slight vibration. And I mentioned that it happens with fourth gear, but recently it started doing it for third gear as well. It literally twitches just like this. It's not even a lot, but you can definitely notice it. This is probably a good spot to demonstrate this for you guys. So I'm gonna shift to um, fourth gear. So right now we're going about 60. And then I'm on the throttle, and I'm going to get off the throttle now. See? Throttle, off throttle, throttle, off throttle. And we are at around 3,500 RPMs, so it tends to happen at that area. Pulled up to the parents' house. Let's go inside. All right, so that was nice. Just uh, spent a couple hours on my parents' place. Honestly, nothing like a home cooked meal, man. I can't get enough of it. But yeah, I'm gonna head home and chill. Friend Phil's pulling up. Yeah, it's a big truck. He's a big dude, so he needs a big truck. Beast. That's good. Yeah, this dude's like 6'4, that's why he needs a bit. Watch it, watch it. Look at you. He's driving that big ass truck. <laughs> that's a cute pickup. Right. Hey, so nice guys. of you to show up. Uh, hey, yeah. At 4, 4 p.m. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, we're just kicking back today. COVID restrictions, this is what we gotta deal with. All right, cheers. Oh yeah. It's actually the next day. I realized I forgot to close out the video yesterday. Sorry, I still got my morning voice going on here. <laughs> Back to what I was saying, uh, this rattle that I noticed, it started off as fourth gear, but 
eventually I noticed it going into third gear as well. Uh, what it means is if you're going about 50 or 60 miles per hour, fourth gear at around 3000 RPM, and then you tap the throttle, this thing jerks back and forth like that. I eventually want to get this figured out. I don't know if it's going to be a serious issue. Again, there is a TSB on this, but I haven't gotten the chance to really look into it. So I will do that at some point and then I'll try to keep you guys updated on that. But like I mentioned, let me know if you guys have had similar issues with third and fourth gear rattling under light throttle. I'm curious to know what you guys did in this situation. If you took it back to the dealership for the TSB and if you decided to go that route, uh, what modifications you have, just because I know the dealership will try to pinpoint every single modification you did to be the cause of the issue that you're having on the car. So I know it's a little different for TSBs, but like I said, uh, just let me know. I need to kind of plan ahead on uh, what to do with the car at this point. If I want to take it to a different shop or if I even want to bother with the dealership route because I've never had any luck with those guys. So, and no, not to bash on the dealerships or any of the warranty stuff like that. I mean, you know, you got to pay to play. That's unfortunately what we have to deal with if we modify our cars. So I'm just seeing what my options are at this point. I'm not even bashing any of the dealers or any of that stuff. And also let me know what it costs you guys to replace whatever it is that needs to be replaced to get rid of this vibration. I'm curious to know what the labor rates are and parts and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog here. I'm about to head out and uh, run some errands real quick and then get back into editing some videos. If you guys made it this far throughout the video, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Look at you, you driving that big ass truck. <laughs>